Welcome back, Blossoms. Are you ready for some more wholesomeness? Because this game has a lot of it to offer. Let's go check out some requests. I'm in college and I lost my wireless headphone charging case. I hate all the noise. I'm getting constant headaches. I need to find that case or buy a new one. Um, I don't really know what to say to this. Hey, ooh woo. Uh, don't worry, those headaches are a fleeting discordant dream in a sea of melodious serenity that awaits you with your future non-static headphones. Yes, I have a flair for the dramatic. Oh wow. Alright guys, you ready to get deep? Alright, let's start with the worst. Okay, so the, let's start off with the worst. Um, so I thought I was given a second chance of life, but then someone tricked me and publicly humiliated me and deceived everyone, making the next three years of school utter hell. I'm over it. Don't worry, let's not get into that unwholesome vibes. Let's get to the best. When I was in Cyprus, um, I was on the beach and there was this island like further away. And I was quite young at the time. Um, and I was, I'm not the best swimmer. I'm a swimmer, but I'm not the best swimmer. And I had my snorkels and I was like, I'm not gonna forgive myself if I don't try and swim to the island. So I tried to swim to the island. Um, and like halfway through, um, my like, uh, I forgot, what you, I don't know what you call them, but like the breather on the snorkel, like started getting water in it. And I was close enough to the island where I thought I could just go underwater and just come back up for air and I'd be fine. So I just had the snorkel visor on and I went underwater. And as I like went deeper underwater, um, like these multicolored fish, like orange, blue, yellow, sort of like deep purple, started to like swim around me, like around my entire body, not just my vision, my entire body was encircled by this multicolored school of fish. And I felt like I had been blessed by Poseidon. It was immense. It was beautiful. It was the most beautiful moment of my life because I love being underwater, but surrounded by that kind of beauty, it was like, oh, it was a wonderful memory. And I, in that moment, I was like, I'm never going to forget this. And I never have, 10 years later. So let's send that one off. Okay. Oh, no. I'm sad I haven't made any friends in college. I was really looking forward to this new stage of my life, but instead I'm just in my room 24-7 with no motivation to do anything. I'm just wasting my parents' money and time. So for this friend, I wrote, making friends is tough. Not everyone cliffs, not everyone cliffs. Not everyone clicks, and the more unique you are, the harder it is for that click to happen. But don't worry, focus less on what others think and more on becoming your most authentic self. The more you embody your true self, the stronger the bonds you will forge with the important friends will be, the lifelong ones. You've got this, Blossom. So, yeah, making friends isn't as easy as movies, media, Instagram, whatever makes it seem to be. You know, you have to genuinely click with that person and then you have to want to be around that person. Um, it's just difficult. And in, in, the, in the age of the digital empire, it's becoming more and more difficult for that to happen. You know, people are, you go for a jog up, up the fields and you're probably not going to see anyone but if you went back like 30 years you'd see loads of people up there walking their dogs and stuff it's just the the likelihood of making friends has, is becoming slimmer and it's very hard um and the more unique you are on top of that the harder it is for you to click with another person who gets that you know um but here's the thing right if you take a step back and you try to focus on yourself, becoming your most authentic self, becoming the person that you truly are and embodying that, instead of being controlled by what other people think or by how many friends you've made or by your expectations that is given upon you, given upon to you by society, becoming that existential beacon of your true self, your soul, then you will naturally attract the people who are perfect to be your friend. And those friends, the bonds you forge with them will be lifelong, you know? So that's the important thing. A lot of the times with friends, you know, they outgrow each other. And 
they they outgrow each other a lot of the time because they were not expressing who they truly were you know they changed they matured why have they matured what is maturity i would say maturity is becoming your best and most authentic self so the more you can show the world who you are and not not need that validation the more important friends you make because it's 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 better to have one really really good friends than a hundred mediocre ones i'm telling you all right next one another spanish one no idea okay interesting this is a good one every time i get ahead in life life pushes me back pushes me two steps back i get a good paying job i get laid off perfect relationship with my wife we get into an argument mostly over financial stuff yeah this is uh there's a lot i could say on this but i'm gonna try and keep it succinct as possible now this is my first stern reply so far so it's gonna be a hard to swallow pill for this individual but ultimately it will help them to hear these words so i said i know the feeling it can be absolutely crushing I've noticed that your given definitions of what a head really is seems material. Money is volatile and a fleeting measure of success. Get to know yourself a bit more. What do you want? What do you really love? Success is a state of mind, not a phantasmal goalpost. So, if you judge yourself by what society deems as success, what your friends deem as success, what your parents deem as success, then you will always be held on a string by those factors. They will always control you as a puppeteer and you will always feel like your sense of success, your sense of happiness is completely dependent on their approval and their validation and that is not a way to live. And the more you judge yourself by these materialistic things, have I got a Lambo? Have I got this house? Have I got a car? Have I got all this money? Have I got this fine dining every week? The more you judge yourself by that, the more you will find that allowing that lifestyle to control you will make you unhappier, despite having everything you think you wanted in front of you. Um, hard to swallow pill, um, but they need to know. Um, but then a measure what can this person do get to know yourself a bit more what do you want what do you really love because every single person has different desires and needs once they really get to know themselves and once you know that you can judge your authentic need and how you are achieving that authentic need and what you are sort of doing what your process is whether you're on the right path essentially as success as being ahead this whole idea of being ahead implies that you're ahead of someone else. You should be thinking about being ahead of yourself at the least, or not a competition at all, rather a journey to what you need, to what you want in life. You know, that's why I said it's a state of mind. So yeah, pretty deep, pretty stern. Sorry about that, but on to the next one. Okay. Okay, before we go, someone has responded to our previous letter um, about just starting YouTube. Let's see what we got. I feel like you connecting with your viewers is very important. Treat them like your friends and listen to them when they give you criticism. Make it your passion and keep going on. You're big, you're, you're, you are big, loved, and appreciated. Uwu. That is so cute. Oh my god. Well, guys. You heard it here first. If you ever want to connect with me, I'm all ears and I'm all heart. Okay? Right. Right to you guys. So, that's the end of this video. Um, next time, we're going to be writing more cute and wholesome letters. And I'll see you then, I guess.